The Sisters of St. Joseph of Cluny, inspired by the remarkable life and mission of Anne-Marie Jaouet, a woman whose unwavering dedication and compassion for the marginalized left an indelible mark on the world. Anne Murray, the foundress of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Cluny, was born on the 10th of November 1779 in Chamblanc, France, as the fifth of ten children to Balthasar and Claudine Chauvet, a wealthy local farm couple. As she grew, she felt a profound calling to devote her life to serving God and uplifting the oppressed. She founded the congregation in 1807. Seeing her good works, other girls joined them, and the number of sisters grew. Anne Marie, our foundress, was a woman of courage and vision, and had a trust in the divine providence. Anne Marie Jaube believed that education and health care were the cornerstones of transformation. Currently around 2,500 sisters are working in 57 countries. The sisters of St. Joseph of Cluny came to India in 1827 at Pondicherry. The province of South India was bifurcated from the province of Pondicherry and was established on 11th November 1995, now almost 28 years old. The sisters live in communion to fulfill a common mission following the evangelical councils. The love of Christ binds them. At present, we have 32 communities, 30 in Tamil Nadu, one in Kerala, and one in Sri Lanka. Almost all the communities are found in remote villages. And they find joy and zeal in their mission following the congregation's charism, liberate to empower, with its motto, the holy will of God. There are 246 sisters in the province. Besides, there are 16 sisters who are working in different mission countries. Continuing the rich tradition of their congregation, the Clooney sisters have established a legacy of providing young minds with the highest level of education. The sisters' approach is guided by the principle of their revered founder, Anne Murray, who believed in teaching with compassion, the Lancastrian method. Therefore, they follow an empathetic approach to empower children with the necessary tools to reach their full potential. It is an everyday scene as the children eagerly enter the school. At the entrance, student cadets in crisp uniforms stand with authority, efficiently directing traffic flow with hand signals and bright vests. Cars halt as the cadets usher students safely across the bustling street, their sense of duty evident in their focused demeanor. Through the shared responsibility to maintain discipline, the children gain a civic sense, learn the importance of accountability, and contribute positively to society from a young age. The sisters play an indispensable role in expanding the horizons of education for the region's indigent children. Their educational institutions, often established in disadvantaged communities, offer a comprehensive education to underprivileged children, emphasizing academic excellence, character development, and value-based education.
The sisters' mission is to empower the upcoming generation, break the cycle of poverty, and equip students with the knowledge and the skills required to flourish in society. Passionate and skilled educators are at the heart of quality education. They inspire, guide, and mentor young minds, instilling a love for learning. The sisters, along with a team of well-trained and motivated staff, are actively involved in all school activities. Access to modern infrastructure and state-of-the-art facilities is crucial in promoting hands-on learning and scientific curiosity. Embracing technology is pivotal to bridging the urban-rural divide and ensuring equal opportunities for all. Inclusive and interactive classrooms foster critical thinking, encouraging students to voice their opinions and grow into informed citizens. Coupled with innovative teaching methods, the Clooney schools provide facilities to young minds to ignite their love for learning. Modern classrooms, well-equipped libraries, and access to technology empower these children and propel them towards a brighter future. Quality education goes beyond textbooks. Holistic development is fostered through extracurricular activities. Shaping students into well-informed individuals. Diversity is celebrated, creating a vibrant learning environment that nurtures fellow feeling, understanding and a sense of unity. The children in Clooney schools excel academically and embrace social causes with passion and empathy. From organizing cleanliness drives to promoting environmental awareness, these kids are paving the way for a cleaner and greener India. Sports and games and education promote physical well-being and instill important life skills such as harmony, discipline and leadership. Furthermore, they cultivate a sense of solidarity among students, contributing to a positive school culture and overall personal growth. Their compassion knows no bounds when they visit old age homes. Spreading joy and helping these less fortunate. The spirit of service is ingrained in their philosophy. They learn the importance of giving back to society, nurturing empathy and becoming responsible citizens. The schools are also concerned about the emotional well-being of students. The dedicated school counsellors are ever ready to lend a listening ear, provide guidance and support each student's unique journey. The path towards a better future for low-income people has always been difficult. The sisters run hostels for poor girls, ensuring food, accommodation and quality education. By providing a stable and supportive living arrangement, boarding schools empower children to focus on their studies and extracurricular activities, preparing them for future challenges by instilling values of independence, responsibility and self-esteem. Every student should have an equal chance to succeed regardless of their background. The Sisters Educational Sponsorship Program Scholarship Scheme provides financial assistance to those in need. Providing essential educational materials like school fees, textbooks, notebooks, 
and school supplies ensures that every student has the resources they need to reach their full potential. Years of service in the education sector have produced countless success stories, where children from underprivileged backgrounds break barriers, shatter stereotypes, and rise above adversity. These stories demonstrate that the sisters are catalysts for change. Amidst all this, they remain humble. We are humble instruments in the hand of God. Mother Anne Murray is remembered for her transformative care, which went beyond physical healing and extended to the realms of the heart and soul. The sister's commitment to the healing ministry goes beyond medical duties, encompassing emotional support and spiritual solace for patients and their families. Their dedication to the sick is grounded in the principles of mercy and love, reflecting a profound commitment to the sanctity of human life. Their work leaves an enduring impact on the lives of those they serve. The St. Joseph Hospital, established in Tindivanam in 1898, paved the way for the medical mission of the sisters, with a vision to provide healthcare facilities to the local community. Over the years, the mission reached out to several villages and towns where they could not afford medical facilities. Their hospitals were transformed from a modest clinic to a well-equipped medical facility. They now have a team of dedicated specialists, doctors, nurses and paramedical staff, an established operating theatre, general ward, paediatric and neonatal ward, state-of-the-art labs, pharmacy, blood banks, etc. Notably, the hospital is renowned for producing an effective snake bite medicine that has gained wide recognition. Sister Ailey, our pioneer sister, who learned the Indian medicine, prepared the Veshamarandu and tested with the insect um, animals. When it was successful, she gave to the human being, which was completely cured. So poison will be removed by poison. And today the mission is carried out and we distribute all over India and the mission countries and the people who receive from us got cured and very thankful to us and to God. In 1905, a group of strong, zealous and courageous women arrived in Aniladi. These sisters dedicated themselves to medical and pastoral missions, despite needing more basic infrastructure such as roads, transportation and electricity. The sisters' hospital was the healing tower for the local people. It is particularly renowned for its expertise in treating burn cases, attracting patients from both nearby and faraway places. Mother Anne Murray's legacy lives on through her daughters. Mainly we use aloe vera and plus an allopathic treatment, high antibiotic we have to give and supplementary food, extra food we have to give, initiate them and counsel them. The community college run by the sisters offers bedside assistance training, empowering girls who hail from nearby villages and cannot afford higher education with valuable health care skills. Through hands-on learning and mentorship, they cultivate proficiency in providing compassionate care to patients. This program equips them with practical knowledge and opens doors to employment opportunities in the healthcare sector. The initiative underscores the sisters' commitment to fostering empowerment and self-reliance among young women. The Clooney sisters exemplify compassion and dedication in their mission of running homes for the abandoned aged.
with unwavering commitment, they provide a nurturing environment where elderly residents find solace, companionship and care. Through personalized attention and support, the sisters ensure the well-being and dignity of each resident, fostering a sense of belonging and comfort and preparing them to meet their destiny on the evening of their lives. Their holistic approach encompasses physical, emotional and spiritual needs, creating a home-like atmosphere where residents thrive. Their selfless service reflects the timeless value of the Clooney Order, echoing the spirit of caring and solidarity. Society often unjustly ostracizes individuals and children affected or infected with HIV AIDS, perpetuating stigma and discrimination. Misconceptions about transmission lead to fear and exclusion, hindering access to education, healthcare and social integration. The sisters play an empathetic role in the lives of these individuals and children offering care and essential medical support, emotional solace, educational opportunities and entertainment. Through unwavering commitment, the sisters create a supportive environment that nurtures hope by helping children build a brighter future. Mother Anne-Marie believed that when we encounter Jesus in the lowest person, we should never count the sacrifice it takes to serve them. Heeding her call to a life of sacrifice, the sisters engage in their mission to help the mentally ill with a smile on their faces. Two centers, Abaya Illam and Adai Kalabhavan, take care of 102 mentally ill persons. For those struggling with mental health, everyday tasks become overwhelming battles, overshadowed by persistent struggles and isolation. The sisters compassionately serve mentally ill individuals, ensuring that their basic needs are met with dignity and care. Through provisions of nutritious food and essential medication, they prioritize the physical well-being of these vulnerable individuals. They organize recreational activities and therapy sessions, offering moments of joy and respite from their daily struggles. With a holistic approach, they foster a supportive environment where mentally ill men and women can thrive and find a sense of belonging. Arjunan, Schizophrenia case, our diagnosis is schizophrenia. If we are going to get the home admission, we will get admission. We will get the treatment. We will get the wheat. We will get the wheat. We will get the garden. Eventually, some of them are reunited with their family. Dharma, 2019, the railway station is going to get the home. Treatment gurute, my better ano parge driving gatu gurute, if driving license wangi, angulke kalyan bani hoyche, rent pulang eri kide. Mother Anne Marie always had a soft spot for the poor and the marginalized. It is no surprise that her followers noticed the gypsies who roamed around in tattered clothing picking up scraps or doing odd jobs. The gypsy children, with their hopeful eyes begging for compassion, wandered the streets, seemingly unnoticed and uncared for. However, the sisters took notice and began visiting their homes, spending time with them and offering essential medical support.
The sisters ensure the provision of necessities, including food, clean water, and shelter, alleviating the hardships the gypsy communities face. Through holistic interventions, they empower their families to break the cycle of poverty and exclusion, fostering sustainable development and social inclusion. In their mission to uplift the marginalized gypsy community, the sisters tirelessly champion education for children. The children are enrolled in their schools and are supported with study materials. The sister service extends to the Irula community, a marginalized indigenous group in Tamil Nadu. facing significant socio-economic challenges. Through their multi-faceted interventions, the sisters provide essential education, healthcare, livelihood training, and support for social empowerment. We are not afraid to venture into new places and new forms of ministries where the others may not dare to go. The sisters dare to step into areas of ministry where others find it hard to venture. They advocate for the rights and well-being of transgender individuals, providing essential support services such as health care, education and legal assistance through community outreach programs. By raising awareness and combating stigma, the sisters are working towards creating a more inclusive society where transgender individuals can live with dignity and respect by trying to employ them in their institutions. Their advocacy efforts aim to address systemic inequalities and promote social acceptance, fostering a safer, more equitable environment for all. Tirumalaipuram is a village in South Tamil Nadu, once ravaged by the fury of the tsunami, but now standing strong. Amidst the debris and sorrow, the community united, rebuilding homes and hopes brick by brick. Through collective strength and unwavering spirit, they turn tragedy into triumph, weaving tales of resilience and renewal Today the village stands as a testament of the power of human potential, a beacon of hope rising from the depths of despair. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The community of the Holy Spirit of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Cluny started working here on February 10, 2007 to respond to the cry of the people affected by the tsunami. With a clear vision, the sisters set out to provide the affected people spiritual, moral, medical and psychological support. They worked tirelessly to rekindle the faith of those who had lost hope through BCC, catechesis, evangelization and counseling services. As time passed, the sisters realized they needed to do more to help the affected communities. They launched a sponsorship program in eight coastal villages, providing financial assistance to those in need. Anne-Marie Jaoué was committed to social justice and worked towards advocating for the rights and dignity of marginalized communities. The sisters have carried forward her ministry of liberation by undertaking praiseworthy work such as rehabilitating prisoners. Their project, Halfway Home, helps prisoners develop skills and provides them with psychological support, which assists them in reintegrating into society. 
The sisters also offer assistance and resources to the families of prisoners, helping them cope with the challenges of separation and social stigma. With support of the local parishes, through BBC groups, the sisters arrange for the marriage of these girls and follow their well-being in their families. Anne-Marie Jaoué's unwavering dedication to social justice and compassion compelled her to initiate several socially relevant apostolates in her time. She empowered the oppressed with tools to regain their dignity and build a better future. Drawing inspiration and strength from Anne Murray, the Sisters of St. Joseph of Cluny venture into different social interventions, bringing hope to the less privileged. Their unwavering dedication to social justice is a challenge to making a positive impact, standing up for marginalized people and working towards a more just and compassionate world. The Sisters' initiative in women empowerment through skilling, particularly in areas like tailoring, DTP courses, etc., has emerged as a transmative force in fostering economic independence. Skill development programs offer women the opportunity to acquire practical expertise, enhancing their employability and entrepreneurial potential. These women not only contribute to their house goals, but also to the overall socio-economic fabric of their communities. We try our best to liberate and empower people through our approach, and we modify our ministries according to the signs of the times. The sisters promote organic farming among village farmers, emphasizing sustainable practices and environmental stewardship. Their efforts empower rural communities to embrace eco-friendly farming practices for long-term prosperity. The mission of the sisters is a reflection of their faith, a journey guided by the teachings of love and compassion, seeing the face of divine in every person they serve. They play a vital role in the faith formation of the people in the places they serve especially by preparing the faithful for the reception of the sacraments and meaningful celebrations of the Eucharist and caring for the children through catechism classes. Their active participation in the parish through basic Christian communities, catechesis and evangelization and family visits nourishes the people spiritually and gives them a moral compass for their everyday lives. With every step, they carry a message of love, care and hope, saying, you're not alone. Their visits are not merely about physical presence. They are an assurance of a brighter future. The sisters understand that their mission goes beyond addressing physical needs. They engage with children, nurturing their spirits and dreams. With our mother founders, Anne-Marie, we can say God provides and He accompanies. We seek, find and accomplish God's will in our daily events. In their communities, they live a life of love, support, understanding, courage and hope. Through shared meals, laughter and moments of reflection, they uplift each other on the spiritual journey, forging bonds that transcends the boundaries of blood. The sisters build unbreakable bonds of sisterhood. In the quiet moments of solitude, daily prayers and holy Eucharist, the sisters find solace, renewal and guidance to face challenges with grace and wisdom. Our sisters are hard-working, courageous and daring. I feel the strength of the province is the faith-filled and committed sisters.
It is no surprise that the community of Risen Christ, Udaya Southern, which was established in 2015 to care for elderly sisters, is affectionately referred to by everyone as the powerhouse of prayer. Due to its reputation for being a center of spiritual strength and devotion in the province. The graceful presence of the elderly sisters inspires and encourages the communities. These stalwarts of religious commitment and selfless service are a testament to a lifetime of service and dedication. Sisters who have weathered the storms of life find solace and strength in each other's company. This is the powerhouse actually. Uh, all depend on us and they tell us uh, to pray for their various intentions. So, especially through prayer and then helping each other. We do all that uh, happening here and sisters are also happy. This house offers facilities to elderly sisters without isolating them from the community. It was created to address the long-standing need to prepare sisters for transition from active ministry to reduced ministry or retirement. The sisters actively engage in various community activities to their best of their abilities. They also come together for recreational purposes. Furthermore, they remain steadfast in their mission by praying for the various needs of the world. It is the sisters join hands in prayer that sustains the world. Becoming a sister at St. Joseph of Cluny is a multi-year process. The candidates are carefully chosen and formed before embracing their sacred calling as religious sisters. It is a formation woven with devotion, dedication and unwavering faith. A yearning to embrace a life of love, service and selflessness Guided by the wisdom of spiritual mentors, the aspirant embarks on a transformative journey of self-discovery. She steps into a life of prayer, contemplation and study. Like runners in a stadium, the mission's baton is handed over to the newer group of sisters as the years go by. Though their race is completed, they are still remembered. The sisters bow in prayer and gratitude in front of those who have gone before them. Through the storms of adversity, Anne-Marie Jabwe remains steadfast. Her spirit, an unquenchable flame of hope and courage. She used to say, to do God's will is my most ardent wish. For this grace alone, I do pray each day. I acknowledge and appreciate the people of different walks of life who collaborate with us and contribute and support us in fulfilling the different mission that we carry on. Her legacy lives on. A radiant reminder that a life of constant devotion to God has the power to transcend one's life for the salvation of souls. We work towards a better tomorrow through our ministries of teaching, healing, liberating and empowering and become a witness to the values of the Kingdom of God. Anne-Marie Jabe's life and mission are an inspiring testament to the power of compassion and faith. Her unshakable belief in the potential of every individual continues to touch lives, reminding us that a single person's determination can create positive change across generations. <laughs>